classified ad uh, for patrol officers. Uh, our intent is to have it advertised in the newspaper on the 4th of July. We will run that advertisement. I believe we discussed Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it would be July 4, 5, and 6. And then also 11, 12, and 13. Uh, applications will be accepted until the close of business on Friday, the 18th of July. Uh, Mr. Riley, one thing that you had in your uh, proposed draft is, is that the application would be available online. Uh, Chief Macheski has asked that we modify that, that applications have to be picked up here in the office and that when they're returned, they have to be returned with a photo identification. What uh, he wants to do is, is to actually create a log so that we know how many candidates have picked up applications and this way here we can have Mr. Davis prepared accordingly uh, with the written examinations. And the, they're, they're due uh, Friday, July 18th. Friday, July 18th, close of business. So it would be... Uh, in, the past, in the past we did 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock, so 3, three o'clock is fine. Fixed time. And we're, we, have, we have two things to do. One is to, to publish the public notice. Okay. And then the second is to uh, uh, basically to publish the uh, classified advertising. Mm -hmm. Right. So we'll do, the, we'll do the public notice once and then the classified advertisement you know, six times. Those six times. When do you want the public notice in the, uh, in the paper? Can we actually do, we do it that on the fourth? Can we do it on the fourth? Yes. And is it prudent to do it twice or it's not necessary? No, we can do it once. Okay. We only have to do it once. We only got to do it once. We've done it once in the past. Okay. So so let's have that advertisement go in on Friday the fourth. And that would be a public notice that we are accepting applications to hire full time patrol officers. Strictly speaking, it's a public notice that we're having an examination of the civil service okay. rules, right? And then, the, uh, so that's that's the public notice, and then the, the classified ad is already the version of that. Is there any other business with the civil service commission, sir, that I have, have omitted? No, you just, you'll just need the uh, civil service commission to um, approve the publication of the advertisement uh, conditioned on. Uh, council's authorization. Okay. Right. Do we need these folks to stick around until after the council meeting so we can review it? No, no, no. Uh, they'll they'll simply approve, conditionally approve the uh, publication of the public notice and the advertisement as long as council. Okay. Uh, gotcha. As long as council requests okay. that the civil service commission do it. Okay. Anticipating that we were going to receive council approval to advertise, what I'll need is I'll need a motion uh, for the Civil Service Commission to uh, pr publish a public notice uh, that we are going to conduct a civil service uh, examination for patrol officers as well as the civil service uh, approval to advertise in the newspaper <coughs> Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the 4th, 5th, and 6th of July as well as Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the 11th, 12th, and 13th of July. Mr. Callum, have a motion? Motion. Have a motion. Have a second. Motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 And those motions carry. Any other business with the Civil Service Commission, Mr. Riley? Yes. May I have a motion to adjourn, please? Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Meeting no. adjourned. Call to order a special meeting for police staffing on the 30th of June 2014. Call order. Roll call, Mr. Vicente. Council Person Donahue. Here. Gross. Here. Patterson. Here. Tyler Shewer. Here. Thompson. Vice President Reed. Here. Mayor Reed. Here. President Stewart. Here. Councilman Patterson, can we do prayer, please? Yeah. Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight asking for your guidance, wisdom, and support as we begin this meeting. Fill us with your grace, God. 
as we make decisions that will affect the borough and the residents. God, we ask that you continue to bless our police department, our fire department, and all branches of the military. In your name, we pray. Amen. 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 Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. No public forum. Uh, Council, I do appreciate everybody attending uh, this special meeting uh, so that we can handle the uh, police staffing, uh, particularly uh, the results of the testing for the promotion and rank for sergeant and lieutenant. We uh, convened a meeting of the Civil Service Commission immediately prior the beginning of this council meeting and the Civil Service Commission took action to certify the list of candidates based on the civil service testing for the ranks of sergeant as well as for lieutenant. Uh, Mr. Presente has passed out to everybody the final rankings. And we subjected uh, the officers within the department that were qualified to take the examination for sergeant uh, through a written examination, which was conducted on the 5th of June, 2014. There was an oral examination that consisted of a panel of uh, Bill Davis, who's the director of the police academy over at the Delaware County Community College as well as uh, Chief Coppola and Chief Ryan. And the oral examination was held on the 12th of June, 2014. And we also requested that that panel provide experience points for our candidates based on uh, a prorated score of 60% for the written testing, 30% for the oral examination, and 10% for the experience the uh, points were as follows. In the sergeant's examination, the number one candidate was ranked as Joseph Pretty with a score of 97.30. The second highest scoring officer was Patrolman Michael McNamee with a score of 95.2. The third ranked officer was Patrolman Edward Bacheski with a score of 88.60. And the fourth <coughs> score, or the fourth rank, was Patrol Officer William Elliott with a score of 88.0. Civil Service Commission certified the list earlier this evening, and what I will need from Council is a motion to accept the certified list of candidates for the position of Sergeant. May I have a motion, please? So ordered, Mr. All in favor, aye. 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 Motion carries. We also had two officers that were qualified to take the Lieutenant's examination. Civil Service Commission, uh, the rules were that they had to have 10 years of documented full-time service with the Eddystone Police Department. The two officers that took the exam were Patrol Officer Joseph Pretty and Patrol Officer Edward Macheski. The testing was the same type of format where we had a written examination which was conducted on the 5th of June 2014, which was 60% of the total score. We had an oral examination which was conducted on the 12th of June 2014, which was 30% of the final score, and then your experience points uh, were 10% based on the score that was provided by the panel. Final rankings were as follows. Patrol Officer Joseph Pretty had an overall score of 98.5, which qualifies him to be the first ranked candidate, and uh, Patrol Officer Edward Macheski scored an 87.4, which became the second ranked candidate for the position of lieutenant. Civil Service Commission took action earlier this evening to certify the list. And what we'll need this evening is a motion for council to accept the certified list of candidates for the position of lieutenant. May I have a motion? So ordered. Second. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 Motion carries. Last order of business that we have for this evening's special meeting is, as everyone I believe is aware, 
Thank you. Patrol Officer Nicholas Sangmeister has tendered his resignation with the Eddystone Police Department. Uh, Nicholas had tested for, uh, was ranked high, and was appointed by the Glen Olden Police Department, which is his hometown. Uh, he is no longer on our active duty roster, so that will open up one position for full-time patrol officer. So at this time, we would be able to begin the civil service process for hiring full-time patrol officers. Let me do that. Can we change one thing? What's that? <coughs> you know how you have, you're on probation for six months? Mm-hmm. Can we change that to a year? We can. The Civil Service Commission met earlier today. Uh, we reviewed the rules of hiring uh, for the civil service process. Uh, we also made the appointment of William Davis from the Delaware County uh, Police Academy to prepare, proctor, and score the written examination. We also approved the appointment of MOPEC certified instructors to conduct the physical agility testing. Uh, we also gave approval for William Davis to convene an interview panel consisting of uh, chief of police's from the surrounding community to conduct the oral interview. We also made the approval for Park Care uh, of Springfield Hospital to do the MOPEC physical examination for the medical clearance and Dr. Marla of Lansdowne to do the psychological evaluation. So at this time what I'll need is council's approval for the Eddystone Civil Service Commission to advertise for the hiring of a full-time police officer. So we're Second. Motion made and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. To give council an idea of the schedule that the Civil Service Commission uh, has established, we are going to be very aggressive to have a certified list of council. The advertisement uh, it's actually, there's two things that has to happen. One was we have a public notice, uh, which basically is the notification that we are going to conduct the civil service examination to hire patrol officers. That notification is going to hit the Delaware County Daily Times on Friday the 4th of July. So our solicitor, John F.X. Riley, is prepared to uh, submit that information to the newspaper this evening, continued upon council's approval. Um, we're also going to advertise in the classifieds for the hiring of the patrol officer in those classified ads. They're going to show up in the Delaware County Daily Times on Friday the 4th, Saturday the 5th, and Sunday the 6th of July. And then they will also be posted again the following Friday, the 11th of July, Saturday the 12th of July, and Sunday the 13th of July. We'll be accepting applications until 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Friday the 18th and Mr. Davis has already prepared to proctor the written examination on the 30th of July 2014. The officers would be or the candidates would be subjected to a physical agility test on Saturday the 2nd of August the oral interviews will be on Thursday, the 7th of August. I will ask for the members of the police committee to convene on Friday, the 8th of August, uh, to review the candidates and score them for experience points. And Mayor, you, you're also invited to that meeting as well, as long as as well as the Chief of Police, if you allow him to participate. I got it tentatively scheduled for nine, but I think we'll make it in the early evening. So we'll do like five o'clock is okay with you, Councilman Donahue, five thirty. Does that work on your schedule? Five five thirty? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. 
PM. <laughs> And then the Civil Service Commission is actually going to meet at 6 o'clock in the evening prior to the regular council meeting, and we will certify the list of candidates, and that certified list would be presented to Borough Council that evening of the 11th. That would essentially give us one month to have the police committee interview, if the police committee so chooses to interview um, candidates. Uh, will also give us that month to execute conditional letters of offer, you know, conditional offer letters, as well as to do the medical evaluations and psychological evaluations. And if uh, all of the stars and moons align correctly, we should be in a position that we would be able to appoint a new patrol officer at the September meeting. Council, is there any other action that needs to be taken at this meeting? I'll remind uh, everyone that we have our regular council meeting scheduled for Monday the 14th of July at 7 o'clock. Uh, council will be convening into an executive session to discuss police staffing as well as ongoing litigation matters immediately following this meeting. And is there any member of the public that would like to make comment? Councilwoman Tadashore, anything for this evening? Vice President Reeves? No, I have nothing. Councilman Patterson? Have a safe and happy 4th of July. Same. Councilwoman Gross? Uh, the same as Glenn and Councilman. Councilman Donahue? I'm good. Mayor Reeves? I'm good. And I am also good. Can I have a motion to adjourn, please? Order. Second. Second. Meeting adjourned.